Here we are, we're back on. So, 46 minutes. Do you have any idea how long he's away for the second time? Or asleep for Oh god, I have no idea. These guys won't know. Ask the guys. I can't even get that up on my screen. I'm going to actually make all the spells, I think. You prepare the cactus plant and horny toad. I now start down a dangerous road. Combine with fire and mist to make. Ah, uh, so lucky. Without a trace. After reciting the spell, you now have the becoming invisible. Cool. I have the becoming invisible spell. Just saving it after I do each spell because I don't remember which spell. Oh, no! I don't have all the ingredients for the. Um, magic rock. Next time, try having all the ingredients. What does the magic rock do again? You don't actually need it. I think it's just. It's a teleport, isn't oh, it? Oh, transport. Yeah. You mix the ingredients exactly as the spell book said. Acorn powder, ground so fine. Nightshade juice like bitter wine. Silently in darkness you creep to bring a soporific sleep. You wave the magic. It's um. What do you reckon? Do you reckon we should have done the spells the way we did it? What's into the? Because we really streamlined it. I mean, there's no. There's no skill involved whatsoever. I mean, at the time, I took the opinion that, um, you know, typing in all the spells and crap from, like, the original game, it was really just copy protection. That's why I removed it. Hmm. But... Oh, no! <laughs> I think it removed something in the game. You mix the ingredients... Oh, winged spirits. Set me free of earthly bindings just like thee. In this essence, behold the might to grant the precious gift of flight. You wave the magic wand. I'm saving it after I make every spell. <laughs> mm, this is a tense bit. Just in case, I can't remember. You mix the ingredients and you place the sticky feather of fowl and bone of fish molded together in this dish. Give me wisdom to understand creatures of air, sea, and land. You wave the magic wand. I think we actually grabbed everything we need for all the spells except the rock. Something feels wrong. You should not worry about the rock. Actually, I can't do the, um... I've missed something for the uh, storm spell. Hey, that's pretty cool. <laughs> There's no silver <laughs> in this <laughs> He just turns into dust. No lightning or anything. Explode. <laughs> he just turns to dust. <laughs> Oh, that's terrible. That's a crack at um, Phoenix Online as well. There's no silver lining in this cloud. Mm. Well, I would assume. That's the sort of thing I would do. That's not really a crack, but... <laughs> oh, that's freaking terrible, that is. Okay, so there's two spells we can't do. Let's actually read the spells. Brewing a storm. One. Put a cup of ocean water I don't have the ocean board. water. Two, three, heat four, put a five, six, six, seven, elements, wet, eight, nine, rooms. Okay. teleporting at one, grind, in case you heard, two. Like, footsteps and stuff. grind the mistletoe, three, right. rub the stone, four, kiss the stone, five, with take six. Oh, I can't do that because you can't do the, you don't get the stone until you've done the, um, Oracle, can you? 
Um, part, oh. How do you unlock the oracle? You need to... You need to use... The spider. The spider. The eagle and the spider. And I think, oh, how do you do that? You have to turn into a fly. Now you turn into a... Now you turn into the eagle at the spider. And he flies up as well oh, comes that's down right. and drags him and drops him in the ocean. See? I <laughs> See, this has been a long time. Hang on. <laughs> if we go to... Is that the cave? Must be the cave there. Yeah. That's the cave. I... I didn't get the cup of ocean water. That's what I missed for the other spell. Well, while we're here, I will save this. Spider kinky. I will walk into the spider web to show people the As day. you touch the sticky web, a oh, giant yeah. spider drops down from her lair in the tree above. <laughs> you attempt to escape, but her Yes. Why are you behind the web? That made no sense. Well you're caught in the web. A spider from King's Quest oh, 6. what a tangled Is web it? you leave. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Oh, what a tangled web you weave. Now, I wrote that line, and that is the corniest damn thing I've ever written. I'm just going to restore this. What a sticky end. Uh, what a tangled web we weave. <laughs> look at a look at this. As you t that must have been an accident. <laughs> must have been exactly where I walked. It must have hit the line what between. What a sticky end. Um, like the walk behind baseline. As you, t yeah, it's hit mm. the walk behind baseline. That's what's happened. Oh, that is horrible. I haven't. E we haven't even aligned the what frames. What a sticky of that. end. <laughs> oh, what a terrible. No, no, we we just rushed. I think we. This was like released still in beta, pretty much. Well, what we would now call beta. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. I don't think we knew what that meant back then. <laughs> Well, it's like, these free games. I think it was like, we can play, we can play it from beginning to end. Let's release it. But this is version two, though. Remember, we did that huge mm. patch a few months after it was released and <laughs> fixed all the game crashing bugs. I've actually, it's, I've then only it released of malware as well. Ah, uh, we could have the first time. I don't mm. remember. That does. We caught it quickly. That does feel familiar <laughs> when you say that. <laughs> I um, oh look at that. I'm glad Steve's not here because I would be giving him so much shit right now about that little animation. <laughs> now, absolutely. I gotta say, our water animations have improved a million fold since then. John Stoll does the most amazing water animations. I know it doesn't sound like much, but it really does give life to the screen. Mm. Um, if you heard that creaking, that was my headphones rubbing into my glasses while I scratched my eyeball. <laughs> oh goodness. Okay, so we should have in our inventory somewhere. Um, is that an eagle feather? I would say. The eagle's tail. Yep. So we use the eagle feather. What would you do? What would I do with it? I dip it in some shit. Just. Um. <laughs> I have no idea which one it is. It's your magic rose essence. Is that the one I dip it in? I can't remember what I did. Okay. Okay. Uh, see, that's another example of a narrator that I just would not have now. Oh, there we are. <laughs> okay. I've turned into the eagle. <laughs> you swoop close to the spider web and find the huge... Taking her in your... Why does the spider come down? Vow to get rid of her once and for all. I guess that's what Roberta did. Oh, this is mine. I did this animation. Because that becomes one animation of him holding the spider. Oh, that is so <laughs> freaking bad. A fitting end for the giant spider. <laughs> a fitting end for a giant spider. <laughs> My 
The effects of the Ugh. spell are wearing off. For flip's sake. Now, I think I'm pretty sure as well that that is... Um, oh, I don't know what I was going to say there. <laughs> That's horrible. <laughs> I, um... This whole screen, this this is one of the, I'm going to say worse, but one of the most questionable screens. Because yeah. you've got that river. The, the, okay, the, you've got the spider. The you've got the all... eagle. <laughs> can you walk in the water? Oh, yeah, you can. See, uh, yeah, I don't know. I'll have problem with edge detection here, too. If you look, just knowing how. Yeah, see, I can actually stand on the water. It's the edge detection in this version of AGS was terrible. It's a lot better now. Mm. Also, actually, for the for the Adventure Game Studio programmers, you um, out there who are listening to this, you could not um, offset a view or a character sprite in this version of AGS. This is this is so old it doesn't have the um, parent child structure of C structure that AGS has now. This was just all commands like move ego blocking and move ego whatever. Um, but So you didn't have uh, set character view offset which is the command now. So I actually had to make sure that ego was uh, Alexander was always in the middle of the frame. So some of the animations are a lot wider and some are a lot thinner um, so, what what this actually means, though, is if you look where I'm clicking, he never actually walks down to that point. He walks a little bit above it because there's a bit of white, there's a bit of uh, transparency in the frame, and that's why it's actually quite difficult when you're walking down the mountain and things like that, because he doesn't. Oh, it's really obvious on the diagonals there. If you have a look. He doesn't act where he looks on the screen is not technically where his active point is. So when he hits things, anyway, bit of bit of programming trivia. In retrospect, I could have probably done animations um, and actually just moved him with X and Y, but mm. whatever. You don't know these things. Simpler to... these days. Let's visit the you Oracle. You have entered the cave of the Oracle. You are almost too afraid oh, yes. to speak. Now this, this is a Space Quest 1 yeah, screen, I, isn't it? <laughs> I think so. I think that is a direct Space Quest 1 screen. Just we didn't even try. <laughs> we <laughs> <Yeah>. took <laughs> it right out of the game. <laughs> I, think, I think we just added that thing in the middle that the crystal ball's on. Now this was um, this actually includes the extra content that we did, which is the cutscene between Rosella and Graham. Yes. Where um, th now that I'll um, I'll say this before we play it so that um, you don't hear our audio over the top of it. But there's a line in there where Rosella's saying something about um, you know it's our duty and blah blah blah, and then she goes off to be sacrificed to the dragon. And Graham falls to the ground and says, "My sweet daughter," I think the line is. That was actually mm. something that Josh Fandel for the first time in a King's Quest game, had put emotion into Graham. Because remember when we were talking to him when we did this, he said that Roberta had told him when he performed Graham, he was always up. He was always... He's a knight. He's a king. You know? He's a king. So he always has to be positive. Um, he couldn't ever show an you know emotion, basically, except for... Mm -hmm positive, in inverted commas, emotions, so, um, geez, Josh was great to work with with this as well, wasn't he? You did, you liaised with he Josh was. a lot, didn't you, with this? I did, um, I, I don't know, I think I must have gone to his website, mm. got his email address, and then just sort of started off from there. I thought you'd say no, like, oh, I've had enough, you know, King's Quest 2 was, you know, that. Yeah. Uh, oh, that's, he'd already done yeah, the AGDI one. Don't want to do it anymore. But he was so yeah, up for it, and he was just, yeah, let's do it. Um, and yeah, he just. And he helped get Andy Hoyos for Manan. Uh, mm. And yeah, overall, just a 
really, yeah, really does a lot for the community. And, and even today, yeah, you can see, see engaging with fans on Facebook, and it's yeah. just it's nice to see. Yeah, it, it it was a different time ten years ago. Um, Josh was probably the only Sarah Sierra alum um, that interacted with the community um, to any great extent. A lot of the others were, you know, they were around, but we didn't have social media. We didn't have, certainly didn't have Facebook. Possibly might have had MySpace. I do remember an early Infinite Adventures <laughs> MySpace page, but um, back in that day, that was it was a different time. It's it's funny when you think it's only yeah. ten years ago, but it was really a different time on the internet. It, it's nothing like it is now. So, yeah. Now I really appreciated Josh doing that. Did we use someone else as well? Weren't there more? Sierra people we used, or was it just the two of them? Just them two, I think. We we had Josh do the. Um, he was in Space Quest Two, and he did the voice of David Letterdroid, but I, we didn't have any other Sierra on, on them, no. No. Oh, that's uh, will Letterdroid. you will you will you be doing a playthrough of Space Quest Two? Uh, sure. I want to. Yeah, that'd be cool. Not today. Sure. It, not today, <laughs> no. But um, oh my God! Hold on. Twen- it came out thirtieth of December, twenty eleven. Mm. Does that mean? That, yeah. So that's five year anniversary. Come December. Fine. We'll do it in December. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. We don't have yes, to wait that long. We will. <laughs> but it'll be five years. Yeah. Look, that'd be fun. We could actually um, quite easily get a couple of the other artists and stuff who helped on that game into that chat too. Um, I can't, that's five years, wow. Well, that seems like a... Oh, mm. That's insane. I know, five years, holy crap. It actually took us five years between King's Quest and Space Quest. Wow. Okay. Because mm. we were working on Space oh, we Quest two when games. we were still doing <laughs> King's Quest. We were working on Space Quest while we were doing King's Quest. Well, I was, anyway. I was programming. Yes. Anyway. Um, we did a play... I think Trolls... Did I am saying his name right? Did a playthrough sure. of Space Quest 3 mm. with Steve. Mm. Okay. Oh, of our demos. All right. That we never finished. Yeah. Yeah. Um, enough talking... Do this thing. Okay, Look sorry. into the crystal well. ball. <laughs> I have been waiting for you a long time, Greedy. Is it a Jawa? I have sorrowful news for you. <laughs> we didn't have someone to animate the <laughs> frame, so we just put flashing eyes. <laughs> oh, but for those people who don't know, there's that scene in the Genie! Internet... <laughs> <laughs> uh, There's that scene in the introduction <laughs> where, uh, you know, sweet... Uh, sleep young Gwydion this w- that was going to be the oracle and we were going to expand the oracle but years yeah. ago a terrible three headed <laughs> dragon invaded Daventry and keeps the people in a state of terror this is right, really so how, I, I also want to see how your own sister Princess Rosella is the chosen one. Sadly, your own sister, Princess Rosanna, is I like how she just throws it out there. Oh, by the way, you've got a sister, and she's about to be sacrificed to a dragon. You didn't know any of this, but... Time is running out for her, (laughs) your parents, and Daventry. Oh, yes, that animation. You did that, didn't you? Is that what you did? No, no, I mean, that was someone. So this looked deeper gritty. That's a little blue smurf. This (laughs) is... Little Blue Smurf. Oh, Mike. Okay, yeah. Um, this is this is the extra cutscene that we added. See what has happened to your family. The once pristine exterior oh my fucking of Castle Daventry has oh been reduced God. to a burnt and scarred Look how landscape. awful that background is. <laughs> That's a Steve sketch. That is a Steve sketch. That would literally now be one of our sketches to start the game. You know... That we would give an artist. <laughs> oh my god, that is awful. That's like a Photoshop. <laughs> that's... <laughs> that's like a Photoshop burn tool on bricks and stuff. 
I don't even know where he's gotten that from. The once powerful moat dried. The countryside. Graham, king of Daventry, is right. alone in his study. Oh no, we had a pink Graham. Staring into the flames. Yes, we had pink Graham. That's right. In his right. mind's eye. I did that. I was like, I'm tired of him being bloody red. <laughs> yes. He has skin. He has normal skin dragon, now. Which requires a sacrifice. He's not like. That's um, not a that's not a racist comment, death. by the way. When I say normal skin, I just want to clarify myself. <laughs> <laughs> I mean that his skin was literally yes. pink, as in you know a pink girl's dress pink, <laughs> and now it looks like a normal white person skin tone. Someone knocks at the door. <laughs> Come. Come. Oh, God. Your Majesty? <laughs> that is the worst sprite I've ever seen. <laughs> There's no definition in it, is there? Look at the size of his feet. Look at his <laughs> boots. They are freaking massive. Holy crap. I anyway. ask not to be disturbed. Oh, the great Josh. I apologize, Your Majesty, but the princess wishes to speak to you. She was quite insistent, Sorry. Majesty. <sighs> Very well, let her in. At least Josh can read a cue as well and go, sigh, and actually sigh and not just say sigh. Remember we had that in one of our games? <laughs> I don't remember who that was. Oh, no, I didn't. Uh, I'm Majesty? not so Why is this hand behind his back? Father? Father? Rosella. Hug. They hug, don't they? Yes. Father. That's a good hug. Have no fear. That's my... That's my I animation. I'm not afraid. How can you hold on to such faith when I have none? It is all anyone ever has. And that they cannot strip away from us. This, is this uh, was Hope. Hope Codman. I was about to say that this was Hope That's... Codman. Um, I still see her around yeah. on Facebook. Um, she was, she voiced some stuff for AGDI, or Tierra, in their remakes. My country is ravaged. My people suffer. Why must <clears throat> I give up my one remaining child to save them? Why must I suffer? Such is the price of royalty. Should we invite to someone? Let's invite someone. Remember, it is sure. not a birthright, but defined by one's actions. You do, you do. I mean, uh, you are so I was going to invite that Peter Rocco, I don't so think he wants to. <laughs> That's you must help I wouldn't either. He shunned, he's, he's shun, he shunned us. Father. James? Did, uh, Molar? Did he have anything mm. to do with us? Uh, B, I don't know, maybe he can... I am sorry. sorry that. He can laugh with us. No, I'll, I'll, yeah. Yeah. Is he online? Okay. Have faith, father. Oh, ordering the form. Somehow. Oh, my sweet daughter. My sweet daughter. You know how you're giving him pink quick. arms there? <laughs> if you actually look, they're just blobs of paintbrush paint. His arms in that animation. Where he's holding him oh, over. God, where? Are you? over <laughs> have a look at that. That's awful. Yes. Also, have a look at the fire animation. I feel that this whole broadcast we're just pointing out the shit, but. Look at that fire animation, how it just sort of flicks. Because that room originally was a Conquest of Camelot, uh, Longbow room, and we darkened it to make it <clears> night. Oh. This is also oh, strange. Oh, I guess I recognize it. I feel it. what I have seen is truth. You, Alexander, are the only one who can save them. Alexander? This is my true name? It is. I have something to give uh... you. A small it is, stone of is anger. My true name. Use it Use wisely, wisely, my friend. The oracle grows silent again it, um, and seems to fall into I can't hear sleep. it. But is it swift? Do you remember her? She did Thank the voice? You. She could have. No she reply. did Medusa. It seems the oracle has told you all she can. Mm. I think she did a few, actually. She, did, we had she a was lot into of, her role playing, I remember that. Yeah, we had a lot of um, problems casting the women in this game. Spider kinky. What time is it? 52 minutes. I reckon it's time to go back up to the house. 
Yes, move. Save your game as well, just in I case. I did save, yes. Um, <laughs> I'll go back up to the house and stick all my crap under the bed. Uh, James would like to, but he's got a bit of a noisy household at the moment, ah, so... Yep. Uh, no problem, sir. Uh, I, I would... Unless, uh... Who could we invite? You get on your hands and knees and sh <laughs> I like that it's, you shove the crap under your bed. Um <laughs> Right. So I want to get John. Did John do stuff on this? I, don't, I, I honestly don't remember. He's the narrator. Oh, of course. Duh. <laughs> I'd like to point out as well, we should point this out, the narrator in this game is the first time a fan game had a narrator actually voice. Mm. Now, um, Tierra, AGDI, did do it later on with their when they patched their game to redid them, but, but Short King's Quest 1 has about four different versions now. Um, mm. And they added a narrator, but we had the narrator first. We did. And that was something we were quite proud of. And John yeah. did a great job. He did a fantastic job. He was a very, very good narrator. Um, he's just got an excellent voice for it. My only disappointment, I guess, is the fact that him and Chris Skelton do sound very similar in these two roles of Gwydion and the narrator, and when that's the bulk of the lines, um, it makes it a bit more difficult. What the hell is that? It's mm. difficult to look inside your own. Mmm. Mm. You. Where's the. What are we looking at? Well, I was just. This is. You've got the wand. I'm trying to find the cat. The cookie. warm porridge is in a. The warm porridge. Are you gonna make it? Didn't I make it? Oh no! Oh no! No, you haven't. You... Where'd you get the cookie? The warm part. Uh, no, you made the cookie. The cookie's under the bed. I've put the. Oh, you've already made it, haven't you? Under the bed, because I made do first, and completely forgot. Dropping tea. That I just put all my crap under my bed, and then I'm like, where's the cookie? There's the cookie. The only put the resemblance... cookie down. Put that cookie down. No. No. <laughs> you crush the Oh, John might be able to join us. Porridge. Sweet. You get on your Yes, the an anniversary is tomorrow. Well, Saturday. But we're just doing this now. Oh, is it Saturday? Okay. Yeah, it's just I couldn't. I wanted to do it, be here and I couldn't because of the uh, deadline. Yeah, no, no, that's fine. Make me get up at six thirty in the morning, buddy. Buddy, pal. Yeah, you're really used to it. Now, when Mananan shows up, um, I'm going to just feed him crap again and then wait another five minutes because that then will should trigger the cutscene, and then we can just restore and kill him. What do you reckon? I just um, want to show that Madden and Mordak yeah. cuts. And then we're getting close to doing the bulk of the first part of the game. I really don't think there's much else to do. I hate that cat. Now that catch bride is ripped yeah, right I... this five. So, <laughs> I don't know if anyone's ever noticed, but King's I Quest... voiced the I voiced voice? the cat. Oh, okay. I, could, yeah, no, I did, and it was all. Oh, hang on. We'll be able to hear that pet. Because you've got the crap in your ear. Yeah. You kick the cat. Hey! That hurt. Hey! <laughs> that hurt! <laughs> you kick the cat. Ow! I'll get you for that, Gwydion. <laughs> Forgive Chris, this. They are. See, we. 
you kick the cat. I've you spoken to James, uh, Sick Fiction, <laughs> yeah. James Barbell. He's the he's our musician that we we have quest for and for me, yep. Space Quest to order before, and uh, he would like you know I I asked him if he wanted to join us, but he's he's a bit busy at the moment. Um, he did say he just wants uh, just to sort of him know. This is what he said. I do remember ten years ago discovering the King's Quest Three remake uh, when in Manchester. Um, and he really wants to play the old King's Quest Three version. And then he found our remake, and he thought, "This is awesome that other people are doing this and still remember these games." And that's basically what got him wanting to sort of get into, I guess, games, and, that, and that's how he found us. And that's. Oh, okay. Yeah, it was just like a little, like just a random Google. So, <laughs> did he find? So yeah, it's interesting. He did uh, the he did some of the music in King's Quest. Uh, sorry, Space Quest Two. He he did the last song, the Space Janitor. He did Space Janitor. And I think he did a. He might have done some others. Um, he's done a few others. Yeah, because yeah. I know that Isaac. Lundgren and, and Brandon Bloom did majority of the soundtrack. Yes. We got James came in at the last because he was editing a lot of the voice files and sound effects. But oh, that's I think, right. Yes, you know, yes, yes. yes Realised yes, that yes. he could do music as well. So yeah. yeah, just kind of talented little pom. Talented brummy. Talented brummy. <laughs> cup, cup, cup tea. My goodness. That was my brummy accent. So sorry, James. The best comment I heard I don't know about if take Quest for Infamy was, I can't, I really hate the narrator's voice, you know, just putting on that fake British accent. I'm like, yeah, that's James' real voice. <laughs> He's really not putting on an accent. <laughs> um, it's not like, uh, I just don't understand comments like that. Uh, I think sometimes when... What is that uh, fake... Here we are. Where? You discovered the secrets of the old magic. What do you mean I've discovered the secrets of the old magic? Quest three. It's probably a good idea. What? I yeah. fucking have not. I don't. Know, I don't. I don't understand why he says that because he's dressed like a wizard. I, I'm sure. Oh, I'm sure shit. you discovered I've the magic the, of... I've got the wand. I told you. you. Get on your hands and knees and shut. Bloody idiot. Hang on, do I have to put the wand back in the cupboard? Does it not go under the bed? I've got a feeling I've got to put yes. the wand back in the cupboard. That's the that's the little trick. <laughs> Dropping to your That's the issue, because it's a different one. It's that's that extra trick that Roberta threw in the original game. You can throw your magic crap under the bed. Or did I leave the trap door open? Because that's another trigger. <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> Let's have a look. I can't believe how many times I'm dying in my own game. We'll magically push the book back. The trap door. You push the large book. I found it interesting that... Um, it's locked. The things that people complained about in this game that we did. Like, um... You the stuff I think people wouldn't care about. You replace after close. Um, like moving the book because the book in the original, if you remember, is on that other wall. It's on the right-hand wall. But I couldn't get the animation to work properly, so we moved it to the back wall. And for some reason, people really did not like that. That I moved that. Yeah, well. You get on. Oh, look, I tend to agree with you. But. <laughs> oh, well, that's good <laughs> shit, but. It's... It, it, it just surprises me, you know. You think about it, and I'm like, I, they're the things I didn't think people would care about. I thought if we're going to get criticised for something, it's going to be the spell system. Fair enough, because I do see both sides of the argument there. Um, but. Yeah. Anyway. Whatever. Yeah, I just, we. We took. We took a, I would say, a complicated system in the original King's Quest 3, especially it had to be word for word perfect, and we cut, we did make it a bit simple. 
we made that it we, I don't know, I think the Freddy Farkas method is the best one. And yeah. I, you know, that was planned for our gold version. Yeah, we was, had something set up, but... Yeah, it was half scripted. Um, it was still a bit buggy, but... Have we, I mean, like, I don't know, we, we could, like, potentially do a King's Quest 3 gold Let's Play, maybe, but I don't know how much we want to... I don't know how far we got really with that. Um, look, it completely works. Um, people will recognise some of the backgrounds and animations because we have reused a bit. Um, I mean, the basis for Patrick in Fortress of Fire is the redone Gwydion sprites from King's History of Gold that have been changed mm -hmm. a bit. But um, so that, you know, that's a possibility. I don't, I don't mind. Um, I. <laughs> I'm sure it's around somewhere. Um, I've got all the assets, at the very least. All the backgrounds were done. Now, Jeremy Kitchen redid all of the backgrounds. Um, not the not the house internals, but um, all of the exterior shots were redone. At least in Ludor. I don't know if we got as far as Daventry. Which is actually a shame, because the Daventry ones are the worst. Mm. The Daventry no, They were very rushed. The mountains are good. I think we did the mountains well. Um, but... Well, that's just King's Quest Five recycled, isn't it? Well, yes. That's why they're very good. Okay. About a minute. <laughs> Alright. Okay. Um, special guest incoming. Yep. But I don't know how you do it. If we... Do you want me to invite him? Add people. You should just be able to add him to the Skype call. I should have asked you to do that a long time ago, because... <laughs> John. John. Tick. John. And he's he's in the conversation. John was able to join us. Cool. This may need to come online. Up to oh, John. What? I can have a look at Skype if you want, but it does lock this window. <laughs> My game window. I think you might have an old version of Skype. Ah. Uh, here's Manny. I'm just letting know. The secrets of the old Gwydion, I have awakened. Well, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Gwydion! <laughs> the host is... I awakened. have awakened. <laughs> Feed me, you little bastards. <laughs> oh. He's such a bellend. <laughs> I hope you're still talking about that, man. I don't think... <laughs> Smelly old man, who? <sighs> oh, something wrong with him. You don't have to feed him a second time. He's just awakened. Where is he? You know what? He could be up. No, in the he tower. has to go. And just... Isn't he up in the tower spying on people? Yes. Now these He's always lines, in random places. These lines in the tower. Um, we forgot to get Andy to record these names. Remember we forgot to get to record them when we had to get it redone? I'm sure it was these lines. <laughs> you, you must be getting mad. He, I mean, he actually went out and bought a microphone, which I thought was really awesome. Like, he really wants to get involved with this. I suppose we should say, for people who don't actually know, Andy Hoyos uh, was one of the artists, as in graphic artists, at Sierra, he did a lot of the original backgrounds for King's Quest V. He also voiced Mordak in King's Quest V, in the CD version of King's Quest V, which is why we wanted him as Mananan, <laughs> and he lowered his voice a bit for Mananan with age. And um, then we added this cutscene, if I can ever get it up. Um... Um, we added that. We added the cutscene with Mordak so that he could talk to himself. You're having trouble getting John on the sky. Um, he's just had to update it, so he'll be here soon. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well. Oh, James heard my uh, cup of tea comment. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't think there's any broomy or broomy okay. drum jokes in this game. I know there usually are. There's no. There's a surprising lack of my mum jokes. Oh wow! I can walk around the hotspot there. Anyway, 
Oh, he might be in his office. Um. I don't know where the, the old bastard's got to. You we haven't noticed in this tower screen, there's no stairs. But you should be able to see the top of the stairs there on the left of the screen. I was still saying... Do you want to try adding John? Yep. One sec. Just man the end, so he's on it. No, he's just looking at me like a dirty old bastard. Okay, um, we'll just pause the broadcast for two seconds and I will try to add someone. Um. It just comes up with the error. <laughs> 